Welcome to the Docker Smash package. This is TPS versus SQL. Today we're going to have a look at the quoting side of things. So as you can see from the login page, not much has changed. So I'm just going to log in as a supervisor. Okay, as you can see this page again hasn't changed very much. So we're just going to go through the motions and go to jobs and quotes. Make view print quotes. Now, the first thing you're going to notice is that all the buttons have moved to the left hand side. This is to keep in line with Windows and their standards that they have set, so you're not having to adjust between Windows and Dr. Smash. Second thing you're hopefully going to notice is that there's a couple more columns now. Each column allows you to order it by that heading. So, for instance, if you're wanting to Maybe order it by, let's say, claim number, or insurance company, quote and name, vehicles, reg number, or even customers. But we're just going to keep it simple. We're going to go by quote number. We're going to go down to the bottom. That's our last quote. That's the way it's always been in TPS, so and that's how we're keeping it in SQL. So let's add a new quote. First thing you're going to notice is it's asking you for the vehicle rather than the customer. This is because most of the time you're working with the vehicle, not the customer in your shop. So we're going to start there. For our I want, we're going to work with ND309653. Now, as I type it in, it's going to bring up all the ones that are possible matches. So the further on I go, the shorter the list is going to get. Now, there's our Opal Cadet that we're going to work with. Now, as you can see, it already knows that the owner is going to be a Mr. Mayor. So when we select it, instead of going to the customer browse, it's going to take us straight to the quote because it already knows that this vehicle is owned by Jay Mayer. Now, your quoting page hasn't changed very much at all. So we're just going to compile a simple quote. In the same way we always used to, where B is for bonnet. LFF is for left front fender, LFFW is for the left front fender wall. For those of you who don't use the codes, you can still go to your trusty red and green car, choose your deco, your liner and your molding, and drop them down onto the quote. So, now let's just put on a couple of prices here, just so it looks like an actual quote. Now, that's basically your quotes done up. So, what's actually changed? If you look in the bottom left, we now have waste and polishing. So, waste is a percentage, polishing is per panel. Okay, so that's your quoting screen. Not much else has changed. Just looks a little bit nicer. So, let's go to your quote photos. Now, before in TPS, you had to add every single photo individually. So browse, add, browse, add, browse, add. We decided to make that a little bit simpler in the SQL version. So now we just go to select photos to display on the quote. We say auto add items to the list. And if we set it up correctly and you've got the right folders set up and the photos are in that folder, it will automatically pick up that these photos are registered to ND309653 and would ought to populate this list. But we haven't done so, so we're just going to do this manually. So I'm going to select yes and just continue. Okay, I'm going to select the photos that relate to me. Just shift, select, perfect. Okay, I'm going to select all the items and I'm going to say add to the quote. Now, these don't have to be pictures, they can be PDFs, they can be text documents, word documents, it doesn't really matter. All you're doing is you're creating an association with that file and this quote. So everything can be kept in one place. So let's go to the quote values. Now, this one still looks just as busy as it always used to, but there's three new things. In the bottom left, you're going to see quote top, which is insurance companies, your warranty, cash, third party. You can then also say, how is this quote referred to you? These all go into reports later. And then in your top right, you're going to see the waste disposal. 
so you can set your percentage or your cost per panel. These are obviously set by default in your defaults but can be changed per quote as can the rest. So let's go to quote utilities. Quote utilities, we now have customer concerns that you can fill in as well as a quote, comment and schedule. So if you made a promise to get it to a customer by a certain time, you can set it there and show it up. Authorization hasn't changed very much. Neither has jobbing defaults or the quote notes. So let's go back to the beginning. In summary, what has actually changed? We've added waste and polish. Quote photos are a lot easier to use. Quote values to use, we've got three new sections. You've got your waste disposal, polish panel, your quote type, and your re referred. And then your quote utilities, you've got your customer concerns. So I'm just going to commit this. I'm going to print it because I know my defaults are set up the way I like it without changing anything. So let's look at the quote. What's actually changed on the actual quote? We have waste and disposal and your polishing shown up on the quote now. This obviously can be um, deactivated in your default if you so wish or activated, whichever works for you. If you have a customized letterhead, obviously your side will come up. So I'm just printing as a PDF, just to so move out. And there we're going back to our quote browse. Now, we haven't just done the extra columns and moved the buttons across. We have also added on the follow-up colors. Now, these would be red, green, and yellow. Green meaning you've done all your follow-ups and um, everything's A for away. Red, you haven't done any follow-ups. Yellow, obviously in between. So, we're going to go into the follow-up screen. Follow-up has not been done. Follow-up done but requires further attention. And follow-up complete are your three main statuses. So these would obviously be set here. In the browse below, you would, it would show all your history that you've done. You can send an SMS from within the screen. So you just type in your message, push send, and you A for away. And again, it would populate this browse. So you have everything right at your fingertips. So yes, that's the TPS versus SQL. What's changed? Not a huge amount, but enough to save you time and make your life easier.